Hey there everyone, this is Argon Matrix welcoming you to the 11th installment of Challenge Sunday. Alright, so this time, you might be noticing something is a little different about this one since right now you're just staring at a black screen with me talking and maybe some music in the background or something, I don't know. Maybe it's not even a black screen, I haven't edited it yet, obviously, so I don't know what it's going to look like. But, yeah, basically, with the poll, um, we got 63 votes in and a whopping 48% of them went to the choice of Let's Play Trailer Challenge. Which is definitely an inter interesting challenge to say the least, it's unlike any that we've seen so far in the series. So, I'm gonna have to do quite a bit of explaining for this one. Alright, so basically your goal here is to make a trailer for a Let's Play. It doesn't have, um, well, oh, ah, sorry. Sorry, I just kind of got kind of flustered there for a minute. Alright, yeah, so you want to make a trailer for Let's Play, which means, like, something that will show what game you're going to be playing for a Let's Play, and, well, basically that's it, trying to sell the people on the Let's Play. So, like, I want to be able to watch your trailer and know what game you're going to be Let's Playing and want to probably, like, watch the Let's Play. Alright, so... The rules for this challenge, there's quite a few here. Uh, the time. It has to be a minimum of 45 seconds and a maximum of 3 minutes. I have a bit of leeway on that, like, if you have like 44 seconds, I'm not gonna penalize you. I'm gonna be, I'm not gonna be like, no, go put a ran random extra second of blackness in there so that it'll fit the timeline. Brah. And if it's like 3 minutes, 5 seconds or whatever, I, I can understand that. But if it's like 3 minutes and 30 seconds or something, then I'm going to be like, uh, can you cut something out, please? So, yeah, just understand that. That should be plenty of time for you guys to make an awesome trailer. Alright, um, the second rule is that you cannot just use a commercial for your trailer. Number one is because that breaks one of the cardinal rules of Challenge Sundays, that you can't use someone else's video in order, to, like, to, as an entry. And number two is that it's just lame, kind of. Like, I know I've seen people who use commercials for trailers before, and I guess that's understandable sometimes, but I just don't want to see it in this challenge, please. I want you guys to get creative. If you get a commercial, then I'm not gonna I'm not gonna accept it. Alright. The third rule is that um this kinda breaks the last rule a little bit, but not really. It's just I'm going to allow you guys to break one of the cardinal rules of Challenge Sunday for this challenge, but only a little bit. You're allowed to use clips from other videos that you find. Now, the reason for this is that you might not be able to like record your the game that you're going to make a trailer for very easily, um, so it might be easier to get, just get clips from other videos, especially if like you don't want to have to play through the game and just get to a point that you want to record if you want to just find that point on YouTube or whatever and then like download that video and get a clip from it that's totally fine I can understand that so yeah but you can't just like steal an, the entirety of someone's video unless that video is like a few seconds long and just the clip that you need so hopefully that's under, that you, you guys can understand that and yep yeah, that should make it pretty a lot easier for you guys alright the fourth rule is that it does not have to be a trailer for a real LP that you're going to do. It can be, like, that would be awesome if you were actually like, making a trailer for an LP that's up and coming and that you plan to play, but it doesn't have to be. Uh, so you can just, like, make the trailer and not LP the game. I don't really care if you LP it or not, just as long as you make a trailer that you can show me and it'll be awesome. I'm sure many of you, many of you can make awesome trailers. Alright, and the fifth and final rule is that you have to remember that this trailer is not for a video game, it's for an LP. So if you make a trailer advertising a video game itself and not like an actual let's play of that video game, then likely it's likely that you're not going to win. I'll still accept it, yeah, but you probably won't win. I'm just saying that now. Alright, so those are the five rules of this challenge. I think that might be the most we've ever had for one single challenge. Alright, now, the judging criteria for this challenge, because this challenge is kind of different. There's like no time or score that I can go off of to judge your entries. So, I'm just going to have to be the judge myself, and here are the three categories I'm going to be judging you in. 
Number one is the visual element, i.e. like video clips, graphical effects, um, relevance to the game and the LP, etc. So make it like appealing to me, make me like want to watch it and have some, like if you can get some nice visual effects in there. Um, hopefully you guys can get the gist of that. That will be scored out of 10. The th second category is the audio elements, basically the music, maybe voice, you don't have to have voice in it. Uh, sound effects, um, rhythmic, yeah, you want to make it rhythmic so like it matches the video clips, so that'll boost your score in this category quite a bit. And again, relevance to the actual game, so like, if you use music from that game, that would be cool, but you don't have to. And, yeah, so that's the gist of that category, that's also scored out of 10. And the third category is uniqueness, because I've seen quite a few trailers that always seem the same in some kind of ways, like, they always kind of follow the same formula. Try to be creative and like break that formula. Like, don't be afraid to. Like, <laughs> I feel like some kind of life coach or something saying that. But yeah, I want to see like unique trailers that'll definitely help you in this category. Because if it's just like plain and stale, likely you're not going to get a very good score on this one. And uh, this is also scored out of 10 for a total score of out of 30. So that's the. I'm going to be posting comments on each of your videos telling you what your score is in each category and then your overall score out of 30 in case, in case you can't do the math, which I'm sure most of you can. Alright, and the rewards for this challenge, because in the poll I did explicitly state that this challenge would have a special reward because this one is very a very time consuming challenge and it requires a lot of dedication. Alright, so in addition to the standard rewards that you get for Challenge Sunday already, you get to choose from one of the following two rewards. Number one, you can have the top spot in my box for one week, and you will get to choose the next challenge for Challenge Sunday, number 12. Within reason, of course, because like if I don't own the game, I can't make a challenge video for it. So, just, I'll be like PMing the winner, and we, we'll, dis we'll discuss all this stuff, and... Yeah. So, and, yep, yeah, so top spot in my box, and you get to choose the challenge. So there won't be a poll this week. There's no link to a poll down below. You'll see that. Because, well, plain and simple, that's not how it's going to work this time. Alright, and the second optional reward, or the second option for a reward, is 2,000 Wii points worth of games on the Wii Shop channel. Which basically means that you tell me, like, what game or games that you want that add up to 2,000 Wii points or less, and I will buy those for you and make them as a gift to you on the Wii Shop channel. So, yeah, again, I'll PM you and we'll organize that if that's the reward you want. So, yep, yeah, those are your two options for rewards in addition to the standard rewards. And now I'm getting really repetitive. I'm like a broken record in this video. Alright. Uh, just a few more notes here that I want to make clear. Um, this challenge, I'm going to give you two weeks for this challenge, not just the standard one week, because I think if you ha guys have two weeks, then you can make some really awesome trailers. Plus, I know a lot of you are busy a lot of the time, probably, so you won't have a lot of time to work on them. So, I'm going to give you that extra week just to make them totally awesome. Alright, and as a closing note, I did not actually make a trailer for this challenge, but I have made two trailers in the past for my actual Let's Plays. I made one for Majora's Mask and one for Kirby's Epic Yarn. So there should be links to those on the screen right around now. So click those if you want some kind of reference point to go off, if you want to get some ideas flowing. Go look up other trailers too if you want, it doesn't matter to me, as long as you put something out. So I hope that quite a few people enter this, because I know you might be turned off by the, la by the prospect of like, oh my god, I'm gonna have to work so hard. No. Honestly, it's not that much work. Like, each of those trailers that I made, I put only, like, a few hours of work into them. Didn't put, like, days. And those turned out okay-ish, I would say. Alright. So, sorry for the lack of, like, interesting stuff to pay attention to in this video, because there's, like, no video game going on or anything. But, if you listened all the way to the end, I thank you. Oh my god, almost ten minutes. That's crazy. I better end this off now. Alright. So, that's that for this challenge. Uh, I hope to, that you guys make some awesome trailers. I can't wait to see at least a few of them. And, yep, this is Argon Matrix signing out. Thank you, and good night. 
Congratulations to Wee Quackle, who won last week's Challenge Sunday with a time of 54.547 seconds.